this is Travis with Wakanda Boats. We're here in Republican City, Nebraska, and also in Glen Elder, Kansas. And today I am super excited to show you the brand new 2020-23-1875 Crossover XS. So Lund is celebrating their 75th year anniversary, so these are all going to have the uh, anniversary badge to them. Um, but again, the 1875 Crossover, guys, this is our number one seller. It always has been. Um, this is one of those boats that just doesn't have any weaknesses to it. Um, it just kind of covers just about everybody's demographic. You know, it's a big, deep, a big water boat with tons of storage. Uh, it's very affordable. Um, it, it's very, it fits the guy that wants to basically just strictly fish out of it, but it also fits the guy that wants to, needs kind of a do it all. Uh, he's going to do water sports, he's going to fish. Um, it does everything really, really well. In my opinion, this is their most versatile boat in their lineup. Um, and you couple that with how, how good it looks and how affordable it is and how, how it holds its resale sale value so well, um, you can see why it's our most popular model. Um, so we're going to try and talk in detail about all the options that it comes with and then all the upgraded options that we put on them. So when we stock our crossovers, we're always going to try and stock them with the most in-demand options, so I'll kind of point those out. So we're out here in the exterior side. I want to kind of explain to you the crossover has its own unique color combinations, and so you have to choose basically four different color schemes uh, based on how it's manipulated. So I want you to, this is basically a black gunmetal silver with charcoal graphic. Okay, so what I'm going to point out is that for the first thing you do is you pick your freeboard color. So this freeboard color here is black. And then we did the gunmetal silver top bottom. The next color you choose is your top bottom. So this is the gunmetal silver. You can see how this has the gunmetal flake in it. It sparkles in the sunlight. Looks really good. I really recommend the gunmetal for your two-tone because it's easy to keep clean and it just really looks great and blends in with about any freeboard color that you want. And then the next color you're going to choose is your graphic. So the graphic is this thing right here. And again, this is charcoal. I really like the charcoal graphic because it literally, again, blends in with any freeboard color that you choose. But you can also choose to have this in either blue or red. So your color options on your graphic are going to be uh, charcoal, red, or blue. Okay. Now the next upgrade that we always do is the Raise Chrome logo. So this is the Raise One logo. I recommend everybody do that. It's an inexpensive option that sets the boat off. And again, this is the Chrome logo, which I like again because it blends with about any color. But you you have your routers. You can also choose this in red um, or black. So it's Chrome, red, or black on your logo. So that kind of covers the color options as to how how that works. Uh, the other thing that we upgrade always is the trailer. So this is the custom trailer upgrade. So you get the diamond plate fender here, the good looking mag wheels. It's going to come with your spare tire and load guides. If you, a lot of guys already know these, these trailers are all completely rhino lined with an armor coat. So they're very gravel resistant. Um, it's going to have disc brakes. It's got the swing away tongue. So it's a really good, good looking trailer for a good looking boat. Um, let's wheel back here to the transom. And you can see what I was talking about as far as this being a big water boat. You can see how wide and deep it is. It's got a really nice wide beam, deep freeboard, so it's really great because you can take this on any size water you want to go. Um, the 150 horse engine is what we always stock with this. It's a great engine to pair with this size boat. Um, it does all. It basically does everything, whether you're going to fish, whether you're going to do water sports, you control with it. It's a very versatile engine that really matches up well with this size. Now again, with our crossovers, we're always going to upgrade to the stainless steel prop. So that's gonna, they're going to come with a 19-pitch Tempest, and the reason we do that is probably 75% of our customers are doing water sports at one time or another. And that stainless steel prop really works better when you're doing towables because it allows you to corner at higher RPMs and, and it, uh, it really limits the cavitation. And so we're going to have stainless props on all the crossovers. Um, again, the trailer's got LED lights and you get your retractable tie downs. And then all the crossovers are going to give you this really nice four-step folding, folding ladder, stainless steel ladder, through here. So very easy for anybody to board, whether it be young kids or, or whoever. Okay, so now let's hop up in the interior, and we'll go over those options. 
So your crossover is going to come with three pro ride seats. Now we always upgrade these to the air ride pedestals so you can adjust the height on them and they've got the shock absorber. Some families will add a four seat. We always try and keep the extra seats in stock for a guy that wants a four seat, we would have that available. Um, if you look here, we always do the vinyl floor with the snap out carpet so this carpet will snap out. Now a common question I get is, um, why don't we do the marine mat? And I tell guys, and again, this is my opinion, the carpet is a lot more durable than the marine mat is. And the biggest issue I see with the marine mat is it is so light that if you don't have your travel cover on and you're gonna tow it down the highway, that marine mat will just blow up and fly out into the ditch. Whereas this, this uh, snapping carpet is heavy enough, you don't have to worry about that. It snaps down and it stays down. And I think it's more durable, so that's why we always do the snap carpet when we can. Uh, in that regard. So I'm going to stay here to the back. We always do the sport top. See how the sport top's got a nice hider to get it out of the way so you're not tripping over it when you're not using it. This is a very, very versatile top. It's a very high quality top. If you go on our YouTube channel, I have a sport top video that shows you how easy it goes up and down and pitches and how, how versatile it is where you can use it for sunshade or weather protection. Um, back here on the crossover, this is our main live well. Really good sized live well here that's on a timer. It has an LED light for night fishing. Um, oversized live well, so that's this is gonna be your primary live well here. You're gonna have your jump seats, uh, port and starboard. So you've got, uh, you know, a crank battery will be in there and then there's some extra storage. And then over here on the port side, same thing, we've got storage here in the interior, there. Uh, I always forget to tell guys, um, and some guys already know this, but Lund improved the Sport Track sliders. Um, if you look, if you haven't seen the, if you remember what the old one was, it had the inserts. This one is so much handier. You just flip this lever up and it goes right into the track and locks down. So it's a lot easier to remove on and off. So uh, some guys, are, I get a question on that, but that's the new slider. Those are super handy. So. This is something that you use for your rod holders or, you know, cup holders, tool holders, things like that. But they did improve the, uh, the sport track slider. Um, while we're over here, this is our port side storage. We have our nav lights here. Notice there's grab handles. Wherever there's a seat, you have grab handles. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I also going to tell you the ski pylon base here. So the crossover now st comes standard with the ski package. So you're going to get that no matter what. Ski pylon will slide right into here. It actually stores underneath the uh, the sport top storage there. So you get the ski pylon. This is your base for your fishing seat when you're going to fish from your elevated deck in the rear. Um, and again, the biggest feature with the crossover, one of the big things that really sets it apart is this center storage compartment. So this is something that most boats just don't have. You got this big in-floor storage compartment that can be used for whatever you want whether it be wakeboard skis. Um, you can get rods in here as well if you break them down, um, but it's just a big multi-storage compartment that you can use for whatever, whatever is needed. And then last year they improved this rod storage here that is recessed up. So we have two stories. We have 10 full rod tubes up there. Um, we have a compartment there that we will mount the onboard battery charger. And notice how this, this, uh, this door goes all the way up because they also improved your bow deck extension here. So notice how that will actually lift up with the door, so the door will lift up higher than when before when that was actually uh, fastened down with a latch. So that's another thing with the crossover, which I'll talk about in the bow, but you know, having a bow conversion, there's just not a lot of boats that have a bow conversion. And I think people that are gonna do water sports don't realize how important that is, because like this, we remove this deck base. Okay, we have our bow cushion set down here. So we can have bow riders sitting here comfortably. You know, here, if they want to extend their feet out, they can. But, you know, having this bow open up where you can actually get your feet down if it's rough water, that's really an important feature. And there's not a lot of boats that have that. That is why, in my opinion, this crossover is one of the most versatile boats in their lineup. So on the bow cushions, I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. They just snap down. I'm gonna slide them over here. Okay. And then I'm going to move our deck extension back in here. 
okay? So now we have our casting deck. So if you're gonna fish, cushions are removed, you put your filler in, which this filler is now a standard feature. Um, and then I can move my fish seat up here and I've got all kinds of room to fish from the bow, okay? So I'm gonna move over here to the uh, starboard console. So again, we always do hydraulic steering. That's an important option anytime you're doing 150 horse. So all of our crossovers will come with hydraulic steering, which also gives you the tilt wheel. And then it has a driver's seat slider, so I can slide the seat back or forward to adjust to whoever, whoever, how tall or short the guy is. We've got all kinds of room here, so we always customize your electronics uh, in our in our shop. So we basically, once you purchase the boat and get all your boat options figured out, then we will customize your electronics. So you can put whatever graph you want on the dash, whatever you want to put on the bows, as as well as your trolling motor. We do all that factory direct. So. Um, but a very nice ergonomic dash. We have a stereo that's AM, FM, Bluetooth, um, interior lights, uh, just a very ergonomic, no-nonsense uh, console. Uh, another option that we always put on our crossover, and again, this is an option, these are your under console drawers. You want to make sure that you get this and request this, because this is nice to have this added storage that's lockable. You can put those Plano tackle trays in there, or anything you want to put in here because it does stay dry. So it's a sealed compartment on both sides, port and starboard. Okay, so we have your drawers here and then you have your glove box. And just like all the ones, they've all got oversized glove box with so lots of storage in here for uh, really whatever you're going to use that for. And so, so yeah, this is the 2023-1875 Crossover XS. Uh, we got lots and lots of these on order. Uh, we also do custom builds, so if we don't stock the color that you want or if you wanted to change options that we don't stock, we can also do a custom build for you. So you can email me the specs that you want and then I can email you uh, basically our, our, our competitive price. Um, so any questions, please, Terry's in Glen Elder, Kansas, and I'm Travis here in Republican City, Nebraska. Our email and phone number and everything you need is on our website, and that is wakandaboats.com. Thank you very much.